What's happening, family? I'm Dr. Joseph L. Williams, and I'm blessed to have you meet me as I'm sharing tips to help the pastor, the minister, the preacher improve upon your skill set that we can all move to um, the capacity of mastering our craft as ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Before I get into this particular message as we're dealing with um, something that every preacher needs to know to have an understanding, and that is how do you preach sermons that aren't stories or narratives? Now, if you're starting off in, in, in preaching, I've been preaching for 20 years this year. One thing that you'll find, the easiest type of message to preach is the narrative, is the story. So parables are, 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 are good sermons to preach when you're getting started. Looking at gospel stories of not only the New Testament, but the Old Testament, the story of David, the story of Moses, the story of the children of Israel crossing over the Red Sea. Stories are great, but you have to understand the, re the reason why stories are easy to preach. The reason why stories are easier or narratives are easier to preach than those that are not narratives or not stories is because stories have a natural beginning, they have a middle, they have an end. Stories have a hero. Stories have antagonist. Okay, that's the person that's against the hero. Stories have protagonist. Many times that can be the hero. So it has this, its natural structure. So as you're building a message and you're preaching a narrative, half of the work is done because the structure of the message is within the storyline, you see. But a lot of times as we become more experienced in our craft, we want to stay away from a different type of message, and that's called the textual sermon. That's the sermon that is based on a text, on a scripture. But I want to give you a tip to help you uh, broaden your homiletical and hermeneutical horizons by understanding how do you take textual sermons and make them more easy to preach. How can I look at one verse in the Word of God that I like, that the Holy Spirit is leading me to, and preach it with the same power that I would a narrative? That's what I'm addressing today. And the way you do that is quite simple. I'm going to give you a tip and trick. And that is... You see the story within the textual scripture. I'll give you an example, but let me say that again. You see the story within the textual scripture that you want to read. Now, before I recorded this for you, I um, opened up the Bible and I, and I went to the first scripture that I found. Isaiah chapter 43 and 1. It says, But now thus says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. How do I take that textual scripture, that one scripture, and preach it with power? Well, number one, you've got to find the story. What is that text saying to you? Now, if I'm preaching that text, the first thing that I'm going to focus in on is on the word redeemed. And here's where it starts. I want this particular text to be a story about redemption. And what do I know about redemption? Redemption within itself is a story. Number one, you can start off by having the introduction of the person before they needed to be redeemed. So let's take, for example, David. The life of David starts when he's anointed by God to be the next king. But then the second stage of redemption is the fall. After David became king, then he sinned when he slept with Bathsheba, and we all know the story. That's the fall. But redemption is not a story of redemption until you talk about the comeback. And what would be a perfect message in that textual sermon is to talk about how God redeemed David by using him in the midst of of his sin. That's redemption. That's God giving him another chance. So what I'm trying to get you to see is when you're looking at textual sermons, find the story within the text. 
And what I did with this particular example is I took that word redeemed to build my storyline. Now, as you're taking that particular text as your principal scripture and you see the story that's going to revolve around what I said is the concept of being redeemed, I'm going to build the sermon around that and use that text as my home screen. So as I'm getting my other parallel scriptures, as I'm getting my other illustrations, I'm building my sermon based upon the storyline of being redeemed. You can take this particular tip and you can apply it to any scripture in the Word of God, even if it's not a narrative, if it's not a parable, if it's not a story. So the key in this message is find the story in the text, in that scripture, and allow the storyline to build the framework of the sermon that you deliver. Listen.